First, we have the uh, contract bar rule. Contract bar rule. And what does the uh, contract bar rule say? And the contract bar rule says that a duly registered uh, CBA will bar the filing of a petition for a certification election. Article 238 says that the Bureau shall not entertain uh, any petition for certification election or any other action which may disturb the administration of duly registered existing uh, collective bargaining agreements. No. So if the provision would be analyzed, uh, it can be readily seen that not every registered CBA will bar the filing of a petition for certification election. Only a duly registered CBA will uh, bar the filing of a petition for certification election. And a CBA is duly registered if all the uh, requisites for registration uh, uh, have been complied with. If the parties were able to register their CBA without complying with any of the requisites for registration, the CBA is not registered. And what is the significance of that? A registered CBA, but not duly registered. But the significance is that it will not bar the filing of a petition for certification election by any union. In short, the majority representation of the incumbent certified bargaining agent can be validly questioned through a, a petition for certification election. So what would be an example of registered CBAs that are not duly registered? One would be a CBA that was registered without complying with the posting requirement. Remember that uh, after the CBA is signed by the officers of the union and the representatives of the management, uh, it has to be posted for five days in two conspicuous places in the establishment. Uh, the purpose of that is to uh, inform the uh, employees covered by the bargaining unit to uh, about the uh, contents of the CBA uh, so that they will be guided on whether to ratify it or not. No. So uh, if the posting requirement was not complied with uh, and uh, the parties, despite that uh, a deficiency was able to register the CBA, then the CBA is not duly registered, which means that any union can challenge the majority representation of the incumbent bargaining agent. Another example is a CBA that was uh, hastily entered into prior to the 60-day freedom period. Uh, you will recall that uh, um, a CBA, a notice to terminate the CBA can be done only during the freedom period. Now, if the parties, without waiting for the freedom period, uh, entered into a CBA and they were able to uh, register the CBA, then the CBA is not duly registered. Another example would be uh, a, uh, a CBA uh, that was entered with, into with a labor uh, union or labor organization that has not been certified as the bargaining agent. Uh, and 
under the present rule, the, uh, uh, the a labor organization must be certified as bargaining agent, certified by the Department of Labor and uh, Employment. Um, unlike before, where voluntary recognition was allowed, but under the present setup, voluntary recognition is no longer allowed. So that means that if the uh, 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 employer merely recognized the uh, a union voluntarily, and then they entered into a CBA, which they were able to register. The CBA is not a duly registered CBA. So that means that any union can challenge the majority representation of the uh, incumbent bargaining agent. 